Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about equipment and specifically the Antex SMD rework station. Now I've been using Antex soldering irons for over 20 years and I have been extremely happy with them. In this video we're going to take a closer look at the 760 RWK rework station, give you an overview of some of its features and at the end of the video I'll give you my thoughts on if you should consider getting yourself one of these if you do a lot of soldering. The 760 RWK from Antex is an all-in-one rework station which has a temperature-controlled soldering iron as well as a temperature and air-controlled SMD rework tool. The rework station is fitted with an LED display to show you the temperature of the current selected tool. You have electronic up, down and set buttons. You have a manual fan or air control in the centre and then you have individual on and off switches for either the rework tool and the soldering iron. Moving around to the back, you will find the main on and off switch with a standard 3-pin power cable and a fuse located below. Provided with the station is the Antex TC50 24V 50 watt soldering iron. Now, if you've used Antex irons before, you will notice that it is of very similar design. One of the reasons I like Antex soldering irons is their very simple tip system that simply push and pull off the heated end of the iron and just like all of their other ones they have a massive range of tips available and to replace them you simply pull it off the end and push the new one on and it means that you can swap tips over nice and quickly when you are changing applications. One of the nice features on this solder station is that the soldering iron isn't actually hardwired and it is connected via a barrel connector at the bottom and you can remove it if you don't want to use it or you do want to replace the iron in the future. Also included with this kit is a nice stand for the soldering iron and this allows you to keep it in there whether it's on or off and it also has the pot at the bottom that allows you to have a small piece of sponge that when wet you can use to clean the tip of the iron. Moving over to the SMD rework tool, this is a 700 watt, 23 litres a minute unit. Now this is powered directly from the main base station and it has its fan built into the handle itself. Included with the kit is two nozzles, one larger and one smaller, and it allows you to choose the best one depending on the size of the components you're going to be working with. On the side of the unit they also give you a stand to hold the hot air rework tool as well and this has a built-in sensor that detects when you put it on the stand and turns it off so it means you don't have to actually keep doing it via the base station itself. Okay so to quickly demonstrate the 760R WK in action, at the moment I've got it switched on and it is currently in standby because both switches at the bottom are in the off position. Now if we wanted to use the soldering iron we would simply turn on the switch and it would then start to heat to the preset temperature I've already set it to and as it begins to heat up you can actually see the display roll through the numbers as it's increasing. Now if I want to change what temperature it's going to I simply use the up and down buttons here so I currently had it to 470 so I'm going to drop it down to 400 and then that will set the temperature for the tip on the iron and it will then continue to heat up until it reaches that. Now it only takes about a minute or so to actually get up to temperature in my experience and the nice thing about having the ability to set it via the display here means you can change it up and down depending on what the soldering application you're actually doing is and whether your components are heat sensitive or you actually are doing something like wiring where you need a lot more heat in involved. Now the soldering iron has a maximum range of 200 degrees minimum temperature up to 480 degrees maximum and again you simply adjust this by simply pressing and holding the temperature controls to get it to the desired temperature that you would like. On the rework side the first thing you need to do is simply turn on the switch on the left and this will then kick it into rework mode. Now the set button will allow you to switch between the two devices. Now as standard because the handle is sitting in the stand the unit goes into standby on the rework side. So if I actually just click set it will jump over and you can see that it currently says sleep. Now if I take the rework unit out of the stand you can actually hear that it kicks in and it begins to heat. Now the rework station has a temperature range of 100 degrees up to 500 degrees maximum and in the middle you then have the fan speed control as well. So I've currently got the temperature at 100 so what we're going to do is increase that to 290 and then in the middle we've got the ability to control the actual speed of the fan in the handle as well and you can hear that changing
as I am adjusting the knob in the center. And then if I wanted to jump back over to the soldering iron to set the temperature, I would simply press reset and it would then jump back over to that side. And you can use both sides of the unit at the same time if you want to, but most of the time you will find yourself just using one. And when you do switch the other side off, it will automatically switch over to the control for that one for you. Then once you've finished using the wand, you can simply pop it back in the holder. It will detect that it has been put in and it will then begin to cool it down and put it back into standby. Now I intend to do a much larger video demonstrating this tool in use however just to give you a quick overview as I've said you can use the rework station for removing small ICs, transistors or even BGA chips and the soldering iron is really nice especially with the temperature controlled end it means you can use it in almost any applications where you do need to do some soldering. Overall, I have to say I really do like the 760RWK from Antex. If you are considering getting yourself a soldering station, this one is well worth a look. And in my opinion, it should cover most standard users' applications. Now, it is available in the UK for £169, but Antex also distribute all over the world. They have a list of distributors on their website in places such as MM Newman in the US, but they do have lists for other countries as well. And that is it for this video. I will put a link to Antex in the description of the video. If you've liked what you've seen, please do hit that like and subscribe button and I will do another video again soon.